Hi, everybody. So I'm here with the cast of Ding Dong Bell. So here are some suggestions on how you can extend further uh, the nursery rhyme Ding Dong Bell. So what you can do is you can uh, talk about the different characters, ask your children uh, who are the main characters in the nursery rhyme, and then they can name the different uh, characters in the nursery rhyme. They can also um, think about how the cat would have felt when little froggy green pushed him in the well and was that a good choice by little froggy green so you can get them thinking about these um, personal social and emotional skills which is very much relevant in their very own lives and uh, they can problem solve and give you suggestions whether it was a good choice or a bad choice and how the froggy green can do better next time you can also encourage children uh, to talk about different outcomes and change the outcomes of the story so for instance uh, the story started off with the pussy being in the well so maybe you can change it and tell ask them what if um the froggy was in the well. What do you think happened to him? And then you can get them to predict why Why was the frog in the well? What happened to the frog? Um, what were the cat and the dog doing while the frog was in the well? And what, what were they all doing near the well anyway? And why was the bell ringing? So when you ask them all these questions, they will start thinking and they will give you answers that you could have never imagined of. And that's where their critical thinking skills are born and uh, nurtured and developed further. And besides that, you could also get them to retell the story and you can get them to modify the story uh, in the way that they would like to retell it. So um, I hope you like these uh, extension ideas. I'll see you again in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye from Rosie.